North Charleston police say three people shot at Northwoods Mall on Valentine's Day yesterday were not the intended targets. A report shows somebody told police a man started shooting in the center of the mall. Two of the victims were found shot and wounded in the back closet of a store. Now, look at this closely. This is the man North Charleston police are looking for in connection to yesterday's shooting. Police believe he was targeting somebody else. Community activists are renewing calls to end the violence after that shooting yesterday. Lillian Donahue spoke with some of them. Lillian, they say this isn't the first shooting at Northwoods Mall. That's right, Bill. Since 2017, there have been at least three similar shootings to the one that happened yesterday here at Northwoods Mall. Now, today I spoke with local lawmakers and community activists who say enough is enough for gun violence in this area. Shots fired at the Northwoods Mall. It's a situation all too familiar for many in North Charleston. It's that initial shock, um, but I wish I could say I was surprised. Of the three people shot, North Charleston police say one is in critical condition. It was heartbreaking. Uh, especially on a day that's set aside for love. State Representative J.A. Moore visited the mall today and spoke to business owners about their concerns. There were a number of people that were definitely concerned. You know, I had some business owners say they're almost immune to it because it has happened so frequently over the past couple years. And we should not, this should not be our normal. A normal that pastors Thomas Dixon and Thomas Ravenel say they've been working to try and change for years. Where are they getting these guns from? Why is it so easy to get your hands on a gun inside of inner city? We're teaching gun violence awareness. We're saying to our young boys and girls, don't let 60 seconds cost you 60 years. Think about the consequences. Ravenel says parents and schools need to be teaching better ways to resolve conflicts without a gun. But we have to get into our school systems where all of our kids can be taught from CD to 12th grade. We need this curriculum in our schools. North Charleston's police chief says, quote, the incident yesterday at Northwoods Mall is a stark and tragic reminder that as an entire community, we need to take a holistic approach to eliminating gun violence on our streets, in our homes and in our city's businesses. Whether you're an elected official, a community leader, uh, or just a concerned citizen, it's up to all of us to do everything we can to make sure our community continues to be safe. Now, take one more look at the man police want to find. This was taken on surveillance video just after the shooting yesterday. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to the North Charleston Police Department. Now, also today in the past few hours, the owner of the mall here did release a statement saying that they are working with police. They're also going to start reevaluating their policies here. They also said that there is an increased patrol of police, and I can vouch for that. I've been here all day, Bill, and I definitely have seen many police cars both in the parking lot where we are right now and just patrolling the area. Reporting live in North Charleston, the Leon Donahue, Live 5 News.